The second RADA Distinguished Alumni Award goes to Holly Neistat Brain. All right, good morning, everyone. Thank you all so much for being here today, and I really want to thank the Alumni Association, and Kelly Frigo in particular. We've been receiving emails from her for about a year now, and she coordinated everything behind the scenes, and it was absolutely fantastic. I also want to thank Ron and Jane Rada. Thank you so much for creating this, and also for endowing a scholarship for a student, which is just tremendous. Uh, and again, all of you for spending your morning with us. Uh, as was mentioned, I was here from 2004 and 2008, and I consider myself incredibly fortunate to have been a student here. There are literally a million reasons I could share with you as to why I think I was lucky to be a student at UWL. But we were told that we have five minutes, so I thought I would pick five of these and share them with you. First, I think it's really important to note that I was just lucky in general to receive college education. Education is a fundamental human right, but the truth is it still remains a privilege. Actually, right now in the world, there are still about 780 million people who are still illiterate, and two-thirds of them are women. So by sheer luck, I was born somewhere was I was able to get an elementary education where I was able to go on to middle school and to high school. Uh, and I had amazing parents, Tim and Linda Nyseth, right over there, uh, who encouraged me, who supported me, who told me that education is frankly the best tool that we have for changing the world. And it's truly because of them that I went on to, to get a college degree. Second, I was so lucky to attend UWL because it's here where I discovered my passion. Uh, when I came here, to be frank, I actually wanted to be a medical doctor. Uh, and I honestly went from wanting to be a medical doctor to wanting to be a clinical psychologist to wanting to be just a psychologist to wanting to be a lawyer all before the end of my second year here. <laughs> I was in the office a lot, changing my major. Uh, and it was my second year, second semester, I was in Dr. Imelda Delgado's sociology class. It was an introduction to sociology class. And I found myself loving everything about it. I loved the readings, I loved the homework, uh, and I still remember one of our first assignments was to go to a department store like Target and to look at the, the toy aisles and to take notes on how they were marketing children's toys. And I remember walking through the aisles and just being shocked that I hadn't really noticed that girls' toys were pink and emphasized cooking, and boys' toys were blue and emphasized adventure. Uh, and it was at that moment that I realized that sociology allows us to really question what we take for granted about the world. And to be honest, I was hooked. Third, I have to say I was lucky to attend UWL because of the amazing, engaged faculty. I was in a class every day and my professors knew my name, and I can promise you that's not the case all across the United States. Beyond this, though, once I declared a sociology degree, I had an entire team of faculty who were supporting me and guiding me as I tried to reach my goals. I had professors who took me to lunch. I had professors, like Tim Gondelware, uh, who advised my honors thesis, who encouraged me to do an honors thesis and guided me and supported me as I told them that I wanted to study panhandling in Mexico and would be going to Mexico uh, to do this thesis. I had professors like Dr. Miller or Dr. Vogt who talked with me about graduate school uh, and told me how to apply for graduate school, what sociology graduate school even looked like. Uh, and as I mentioned, this really isn't the case everywhere, but I can promise you all that I try to emulate what you did for me every day as a professor at Ohio State. Fourth, uh, I was lucky to attend UWL because it really combines the best aspects of a small university with those of a large university. I was thrilled to be somewhere where my professors knew my name, somewhere where they took an interest in me, somewhere where I could walk to the Whitney Center and run into 20 people that I knew just on the way uh, to get breakfast. But UWL is also a place that provides people with so many opportunities, and opportunities like you can find at the biggest universities. While I was here, I was a resident assistant in Baird Hall, which I know no longer exists, but it was the International Hall. And it was there that I learned how to manage my time when it felt like it was pulled in a million directions. I was a teaching assistant for statistics, where I learned that I liked to teach, and also learned how to teach something that made students incredibly nervous. I was a research assistant, where I learned how to do ethical research and how to conduct interviews. I was able to study abroad, where I made my parents incredibly nervous by uh, teaching English in a prison, but I learned again that I love teaching and was able to practice my Spanish. Uh, and again, I was part of a lot of organizations where I met friends who I still have to this day, and also just got to do a lot of really neat things, like have a Quidditch tournament on campus, uh, for those of you who are Harry Potter fans and might know what that is. 
Uh, last but not least, the fifth reason, I actually met my husband here at UW Lacrosse. So my husband Mike is sitting over there and his wonderful family. Uh, I met him my senior year. Uh, we actually grew up 20 minutes apart from one another. I'm from Nielsville, Wisconsin, he's from Spencer. Uh, but we met because we were neighbors here. Uh, and to be honest, some of my favorite memories are watching him play baseball here for UWL, going to work out together, the rec together, going to study at the library. Uh, he later told me he actually had no homework to do and he would just pretend he had homework to do. Because <laughs> I had a lot of homework to do at that point in time. Uh, and I'm so grateful for you and words really can't express how uh, proud I am of you and how grateful I am for all of your support. So with that, thank you all so much uh, for listening and for being here. Uh, and I am so proud to be part of the UWL community. Thank you.